Welcome back to another NBA video, and in this video, it's the dead of the NBA offseason it feels like, but there's a couple reports, including one from Shams dealing with the Damian Lillard ongoing situation. So basically what Shams reported is the league is reportedly upset about comments made by Dame's agent that was basically urging other teams, not named the Miami Heat, to trade for Dame. So this is a very interesting situation because we heard Dame's agent was basically calling other teams and saying, if you're not the Miami Heat, then don't trade for Dame because if you do, you're just going to be getting the disgruntled superstar and that's the last thing anyone wants. You're giving up a lot of assets to get him in the first place, then you have to pay him a lot of money and if he's not even committed to being there, then what's the point? So basically, it was just help, all helping the Heat get better leverage to trade for Damian Lillard at a reduced cost, but Sham said that the league has sent out a letter to a bunch of teams that was basically against that. They were saying Dame's agent should not be saying that only the Heat should be making an attempt to trade for him. And then we got a report from Sam Amico, who's a senior writer at HoopsWire.com. He said he wasn't sure how entirely true it is, but he said league sources were telling him that the NBA would veto any trade involving Damian Lillard to the Heat. Now, this is just unprecedented territory because this hasn't happened with Adam Silver as commissioner. The only time it's really happened or the last time it's happened is that Chris Paul trade to the Lakers that did not go through with David Stearns as the commissioner, old David Stearns. So it's very interesting to hear this report. These are league sources, and this is a legitimate source that's reporting this, that people around the league do believe that the NBA would veto any trade involving Damian Lillard to the Heat. Now, I don't believe this exactly 100% either. I do think there's a good chance and a chance that Damian Lillard does get traded to the Heat, but I do believe completely what Shams was saying, that the league is trying to step in and do something about Dame's agent telling teams not the Miami Heat to not trade for him because I do believe that that's not exactly good for the league and good that Damian Lillard can sign his Supermax with Portland but then just essentially force his way to Miami as if he's a free agent. Let me know your thoughts on this situation. For the next part of this video, I'm going to be breaking down this Donovan Mitchell report a couple days ago. This was from Tim Bontemps of ESPN. He said it on the Hoop Collective podcast. That's the podcast of Brian Windhorst of ESPN. And he was basically talking about Donovan Mitchell and his future in Cleveland, and this was his quote. He said, I don't think there's any chance he signs an extension there ever, and if it was up to me, I would trade Donovan Mitchell today. So obviously, there's a lot to unpack with this. First of all, the minimum amount that he could be under contract with Cleveland remaining is two more years so it's not like Cavs fans have to worry about him forcing his way out soon because he just got there and he definitely has some unfinished business after that first round exit last year and now I feel like there's always a way to convince players to stay I mean they have a really nice young nucleus with him Darius Garland Evan Mobley you could throw Jarrett Allen in there as well and they have a chance to really do some great things obviously if they get eliminated in the first round like last year that's not exactly what they want because Donovan Mitchell part of the reason he won the trade was so he could go further than the first round and take his career to the next level. But this is just interesting. I guess Donovan Mitchell could show to be a player that's always wanted to play in a big market. He started his career in Utah, and now he's in Cleveland, and there's always been links to the New York Knicks. He was kind of a Knicks fan growing up. He thought he was going to be traded to the Knicks when he was on the Jazz last summer. So this will definitely be an interesting situation to follow. The Cavaliers will definitely be building around him. They could get a Hall if they did decide to trade him because he has at least two years left on his contract before a player option comes into play. Let me know your thoughts on this. Damian Lillard, there's some talk about a trade to the Heat getting vetoed, talking about like a Chris Paul to the Lakers type thing. And then Tim Bontem Bontemps on the Hoop Collective podcast of ESPN said that he doesn't think there's a chance Donovan Mitchell will ever sign an extension in Cleveland and he's arguing for the Cavs to look to trading him.